Hi, in this video, we'll discuss a pair oral endoscopic myotomy for achalasia. So we have an example here of a case with uh, achalasia, and you can see the GE junction is very tight, and you have to push the scope through the lower esophageal sphincter. So we start the incision 12 centimeter above the GE junction. We first will make a submucosal injection. Uh, in this example here, we are using a needle that we can inject and cut in the same time with this needle called the hybrid knife. So once we create the tunnel, as we see here, we carefully will go within the tunnel and will continue to inject and dissect. And I would prefer using coagulation current for dissection. So as we see here, we're gradually going in, cutting through uh, the tunnel and will gradually go till we reach the GE junction. You have to be careful when we are cutting uh, to see your um, tunnel and make sure that you are going longitudinally and you are not curving to the right and the left. So every once in a while, you have to check your tunnel. Once you reach to the GE junction, you will see that the area is very tight. You don't have enough submucosa anymore. And as we see here, we're barely cutting here uh, the submucosa and uh, or just next to the muscle and we have to be careful because that's when problem could happen that's when you can cut into the mucosa so you will gradually go and you'll try carefully to dissect the small submucosal area and inject a lot of fluid and go toward the muscle it's okay to dissect uh, towards the muscle area rather than dissecting towards the mucosal area because anyway, in this area, we are going to do uh, what we call myotomy later on. So once we pass the GE junction, immediately you will find that uh, the space is wide open. And here we can see bleeding blood vessel in the lesser curvature of the stomach, which is commonly found in this area. I will try to use coagulation current and it looks like we are not able to control the bleeding in spite of using uh, the force coag. So now we are going to use coag grasper and we will try to control the bleeding with soft coagulation current using coag grasper. Uh, we reached now the end of the tunnel so we will go back carefully, look at the tunnel that's the GE junction area and you can see we cut a little bit of the muscle it's not a big deal as long as the mucosa is intact and then we can come out of the tunnel uh, go all the way through the GE junction into the stomach and we retroflex and make sure that really our fluid or the endocarmin that we injected with the normal saline seen in the other side now we're going to start doing the myotomy our goal is to cut the circular muscle and leave the longitudinal muscle intact. Sometimes you will cut some of that longitudinal muscle, that's fine, but we tried a little bit to cut only the circular muscle gradually and we'll try to find this line of separation between the circular muscle and the longitudinal muscle as you guys see here. So we see the longitudinal muscle and that's here the line of separation between longitudinal and circular. And We'll continue this process all the way down till we reach the GE junction and we'll go beyond the GE junction for three centimeter and the lesser curvature. It's very important that you really continue the dissection beyond the GE junction into the lesser curvature. Once we finish the myotomy part, we'll go all the way and inspect uh, the muscle layer very well and make sure we are not missing. Uh, any bands of circular muscle that was not cut and then we'll close the myotomy with six claps as we see here in this picture. Thank you.